chicken, ricotta cheese, parmesan cheese, and mushrooms. I'm gonna put some more parmesan cheese in there actually. This kind of parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna do it over here. Just move. And of course I used seasoning. Oh, and it has a cream a cream sauce. A cheese sauce. that I made um, with my, of course, my flour and butter sauce, little bechamel sauce, and yeah. And now I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese, kind of like kind of ooey, kind of ooey and gooey. About a cup. Yeah, about a cup of uh, mozzarella cheese. Okay. So this is already seasoned, so no need for seasoning. I'm using the oven ready lasagna noodles from Maria Barilla. And the rest of this I'm going to put at the bottom of my pan so the noodles don't burn. one of these pans right here that I'm going to put it in. Kind of deep, you know. You see it right. Yeah. Easy clean up. So, okay. We're going to move over here. So, turn the oven on. 350 but it's all off the way open up my noodles what do you want I'm gonna put some of this sauce down first like I said I'm gonna put like a little bit more heavy whipping cream in there Okay. That's 
compass. evenly spread it throughout and we talked about in the last video about not being left out and we don't want to leave that little spot out of the equation so I'm gonna put some noodles down I'm gonna put them this way And it's okay if they overlap because it's fine. Okay, okay yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Put some of the mixture down. Like that. Cut it out. cheese in between with the mozzarella cheese some moss moss oh shoot I got the bag of clothes because that would have been a mess that I would have had to clean up cilantro but parsley is just as good that makes it pretty for the eyes I think I have some cilantro but I'm not sure let's see I got a bagel though. <laughs> Okay, so let's 
spread it out evenly. I'm gonna put three more noodles on the top. I'm gonna put the rest of this. So that's it with that. And we're gonna to top it with some more shredded cheese as if we didn't have enough. And this time we're going to use some Italian style cheese. And I'm gonna get the parsley back out. Cause I want it to be pretty. So I'm gonna rip this baby open. Let it rip. <laughs> Ooh, that smells really good. Like so, clog our arteries and stop the heart. It looks amazing, if I might so sell myself. A little zoom in action for you. Yeah. So once again, I bought the um, chicken with water and this better than bouillon. Oh my God, what is that? Yeah, this better than bouillon is vegetable. They have chicken and beef, but I thought I had some chicken bouillon cubes, but I had beef ones. So I just decided to use this. It's vegetable. Um, I made a cheese sauce with heavy whipping cream, and you know what? Scratch it. All the ingredients will be posted at either the end of the video or in the description box. In the description section <laughs> just in case you're wondering what I put in it yeah and I'm gonna have a little side salad like I'm trying to copy what my sister did but the funny thing about it is it's like we don't live together but it's like I already knew that I wanted this today and she's making lasagna too but she's making red sauce lasagna with ground beef and Italian sausage and I'm pretty sure it's going to be just as good and she is also having a fat salad which my thing is she did inspire me to do the side salad 
and we're gonna have some delicious garlic bread that I'm gonna make a garlic butter spread sauce for. I got a garlic butter spread for it. And I'm gonna put the, pop this baby in the oven. Oh, it's heavy. And yeah. Time to bake. Now it's time to clean the mess up. That is the finished product right there. Deliciousness. And then over here, I'm making some of the garlic butter spread. I just put some butter, some parsley, and some garlic powder in there. I have to think about that. I'm just gonna cut this baby open and just, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm do like half. Well, I probably like that much right there. And yeah. Yeah. This is what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna just do these other two, pop the baby in the oven, and maybe I'll be done in like about five, six, seven minutes at the most. 